Praise the Lord, mightiest prophet of the Lord. Well, uh, now, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me. The Lord Jehovah Rophe, the Lord that healed thee, um, Jehovah Ori, the Lord my light, Jehovah Hamelech, the, the king, he has spoken with me uh, about a very, very important event. And uh, in this conversation, the Lord showed me a tremendous vision of a very huge statue. Very, very, very huge. Very huge statue. And I could see its feet of clay mixed with iron and all this. And this is a big statue, huge, extremely huge. And uh, then as I was looking at the statue and all of a sudden a rock came in a slanting direction from the Lord. A small rock came and smashed the statue and uh, the statue splashed when the rock came and hit it, it smashed and splashed dust in a very unbelievable way. And it was such a dust that the Lord allowed the dust to sprinkle on me, to pass on me the wave of the dust. It was blown out by wind like chaff. So the entire statue was disintegrated in a very, very short time, in a flash like in a twinkling of an eye. So, again, the Lord, He has spoken with me about events to happen on this earth, events to happen in this dispensation. And uh, He showed to me, He did show me a huge statue, unbelievably huge, so big I cannot describe, and I could see His feet everywhere but is so huge unbelievably huge and then as i was mesmerized and astonished and looking at the statue then all of a sudden a rock a rock came from the direction of where the lord was i knew exactly where the lord was and that rock came and smashed, the, it hit the statue and smashed the huge statue in a flash, like in the twinkling of an eye. And the statue splashed out fine dust, very fine dust that the Lord allowed the dust to blow over me too. And then immediately as I was still shocked at that, then the next event took place. This rock became a huge mountain, a historic huge mountain that covered the entire earth. And then at that time, I woke up. So th this is the second time the Lord is speaking to me about this conversation. This is the second time he's showing me this vision. And I know that this is now the third time that he's showing this vision. He's showing me the second time, but he showed it to Daniel also. So this is the third time. He did show it to Daniel, the end-time prophet of the Lord. Daniel, the terrible prophet that even the lions could not eat. And uh, now, this is a very important message for the church at this hour, even as I'm leaving now to Namibia, to Windhoek. Uh I have spoken about this before, and I repeat here, that the Lord is speaking about the destruction of the kingdoms of this world, the kingdoms that symbolize the height of idolatry, as you can see, the kingdoms of this world, all masked and totally consumed by the idolatry of the day. That is the symbolism you see in that huge statue. And then uh, the rock comes from the Lord and smashes the statues and destroys them. And you see that the Lord is talking about the, the, this mountain that now forms. So he's talking about 
the establishment of the eternal kingdom of God that will consume the entire earth. The kingdom of the gospel, the kingdom of righteousness that will be established, that will destroy all the other kingdoms. And you see that rock that comes to smash. That rock is the rock that is our Lord Jesus that came to smash. But the completion, the climax of his accomplishment, victory, and triumph on the cross will be achieved when finally he comes now to establish the kingdom of God on the earth. And you see that that rock, even as you see in the book of Daniel, chapter 2, verses 34, 35, and the interpretation for it is Daniel, the same chapter 2, verses 44 and 45, it speaks about that rock that is not cut by human hands, but came and smashed the statue and became like chaff, like dust, that no man will help God to establish. It will not be by human hand to establish the kingdom of God, but it will be strictly by the wonderful works that the Messiah did on the cross and the power of the gospel that he gave us on the cross, the gospel of repentance and righteousness and holiness, and the, the, the enormity of that power of that gospel will be realized when finally the kingdom of the gospel is established on this earth, when finally all the other kingdoms have been brought down. That means when all people will now be born again, the gospel will have achieved its maximum in our hearts and across the earth. So that kingdom that I've been announcing prepared the way for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, is in hand. That kingdom is symbolized now by this rock that became a mountain that covered the entire earth. So the Lord is saying that people need to repent and turn away from sin, turn away from wickedness, lies, turn away from the abortions you see in the church and all over the world where you have clinics of abortion, you have lies, falsehood in the church and out. So much is being spoken here about the perishable kingdom that he will destroy. He's also talking about the wealth of this world because you see that that statue has several metals, different types of metals from gold to silver to all the way bronze up to clay and uh, and so forth and iron. Those symbolize the wealth of this earth which will be smashed by this kingdom. So even as I leave to Namibia where I've seen tremendous healings, the Lord was speaking to me the whole of this night about the major, major massive healing that will take place when he brings me to Namibia in their healing service and the conferences. But as I go, then the Lord now has spoken this very important message to the corners of the earth that prepare the way, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven is now at hand. Turn away from sin. Turn away from lies. Turn away from the love of money. Turn away from falsehood, heedlessness, godlessness. This heathenism, atheism, this lack of belief. It is now obvious that the messenger of the kingdom of heaven is here and his message is very clear. It's been here. Let us all receive Christ Jesus. It does not matter what religion you've been before, whether you've been Hindu, Muslim, what, atheist. Now you, it's a moment where you can also receive Christ Jesus as Lord and Savior and enter the eternal holy kingdom of God and turn away from sin. I have seen the Messiah coming. Let those who have ears listen and prepare. Shalom. Mm -hmm.